Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, I will be showing you how you can purchase an eSIM with Sailly. Sailly is one of the best eSIM providers on the market, and in this video, I'm going to walk you step by step through the entire process and show you how to purchase one of these eSIMs. The most important thing that we need to take a look at though, is if your phone is actually compatible with an eSIM. Now, there are so many different phones out there. There are iPhones, there are Androids, and then there are multiple brands of Android. So it would take far too long for me to read a list of every single phone. So what I will do is I will leave a link in the description to a document that shows you every phone that is compatible with eSIMs. So before we buy an eSIM, make sure you click on that link and make sure that the phone that you have is on that list. If your phone is on that list, then you will be able to get an eSIM. Once you have done that and you know that your phone is compatible with an eSIM, let's now jump in and actually buy the eSIM with Sailly. Okay, so the very first thing that you will want to do is click on the top link in the description of this video. It is this link right here, geforcenorth.com slash recommends slash Sailly. And this will give you the best deals and discounts on your Sailly plan. So right here, we are now on Sailly and we can now either just straight up here, enter in the country that we would like to travel to or alternatively we can scroll down here and choose your destination we can click into view all countries and these are all of the countries that we can travel to so you can see there are a lot of options right here and the country that you want to get data for more than likely it is going to be here so we can go back up and in the country let's say that i want to buy some data for germany then all we do is enter in the country that you are traveling to just like this, I can see Germany right here. Click onto this and then we can see all of the data plans that are available. So we can choose a gigabyte for seven days. We can choose three gigabytes and this will be available for 30 days, five gigabytes for 30 days, all the way up to 20 gigabytes for 30 days. So all we would do is choose the plan that we want to go for. I'm just going to go for one gigabyte for seven days. And you can see this is going to cost me $4.49. And then once we have that selected, we can click right here on go to checkout. From here, it's then going to ask us to sign up or log in. So we can choose if we want to sign up with Google or Apple. So I'm going to go Google right here and sign in with my Google account. Just like that, you can see I am now signed in. And next, we can choose the payment method that we want to pay with. So just click into this and then we can enter in the card details that you want to purchase your plan with. And once that information is entered, we can click right here on continue. Just like this, it's going to confirm the order. So it's going to take a few seconds. And just like that, it now says the order was successful. So all we now need to do is go over to your phone, pull up the camera app, and then we can scan this QR code that we can see on the screen. So let's go ahead and open that up. And it's going to take us straight over to either to the app store if you are on iPhone or the play store if you are on Android. So from here, we can just download the app and then we want to go ahead and open that up. Just like this, we are taken over to the Sailly app. So from here, we can click on login and then sign in with our Google account. And then once we log in, we can see right here, we are taken straight over to this eSIM screen at the bottom. So I can see my plans is the German eSIM that I have just bought. So all I now have to do is click right here on install eSIM, this big button at the top. Then we can click on allow right here and it's now going to activate this eSIM. So it's going to say activate eSIM. We click on continue and then we can wait a few seconds to a minute for this eSIM to activate. Once that is done, it's going to say that your eSIM is now active on this phone. So we can click on done and then it's going to ask for the default line. So we always want to set this to secondary as the main SIM card that you have in your phone wants to remain as the primary SIM card. So make sure this is secondary, then we can click continue. Once again, for FaceTime and iMessage, we also want to set this to secondary and then continue. And then cellular data, we will go secondary as well. Now this option right here, allow cellular switching. If this is on, this is going to automatically switch between the SIM card that it uses based on data availability. So I'm guessing the reason that you are buying an eSIM is so that you can avoid crazy data charges whilst abroad. So make sure this is off. So we don't want to turn this on, leave this off and then click on done. And then we can now see in here, we have the primary SIM card and we have the secondary SIM card. Ignore this one used as travel. This is a different eSIM that I bought a few months ago. So primary right here. 
and secondary. These are the two SIM cards that we can use. Now, right here, we can see both of these SIM cards are currently up. Now, this is not a very good idea as I am not in Germany right now. I'm still in the UK. So all we are going to do is go to secondary and turn this off. And we want to leave this off where it says, turn on this line, leave this off until you actually get to your destination. So right now, I'm just going to leave this as it is where my primary is on and secondary is off. And then when I get to Germany, what I'm going to do is go to secondary, turn this on, go to primary and turn this off. And this now means that I am going to be using my German SIM card and I'm not going to be racking up crazy high data charges whilst I am abroad. So that is how you can buy an eSIM with Sally. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.